Hi, I'm Austin Williams. I'm a doctoral student here at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. I'm in the Gay and Lesbian Archive of Mid-America right now, where for the last year and a half, I've been pouring through documents, primary sources, videotapes. I have found a story about an ordinance that took place in Kansas City, Missouri in 1990 that I know has to be told. And, and I've, I've chosen to write a dissertation about it. I want to write a book about it. But I'm also a filmmaker. And, and I know that the best way, really the only way, to get this story out to the masses is, is to make a film about this amazing untold story. But the only way that I can do that is with your help. I'm gonna ask. So why does a film need to be made about this ordinance? Well, ordinance number 65430 was, and I'm pretty sure to this day, the most contested piece of legislation in Kansas City history. You had thousands of people call the phone lines and literally shut down the phone lines in City Hall. You had over a dozen hours of testimony take place over a period of three weeks that were so intense, that were so highly divisive, that it, it, it's amazing that more people don't know this story. The second reason that I think it's important to tell this is because Kansas City, to my knowledge, is the only city that ever tried to pass a civil rights ordinance that not only protected people with AIDS, but also based on sexual orientation at the same time. The third reason that this is important is that if you want to understand that era of, of AIDS at its, at its peak, when, when there, there, there wasn't medication, that, that, that people were just were dying, if, but at the same time, fighting for just basic civil rights where the mere rumor of being gay, not, not just being openly gay or lesbian, but just the mere rumor that you were homosexual could get you fired, then you, these two issues were so inseparable. By studying this ordinance, you get a better sense of how you could not talk about one without talking about the other. And, and why was it so highly divisive? Well, the fourth reason, and maybe one of the more interesting reasons, to study this ordinance is that it tells you about the modern conservative movement. If you want to understand transgendered bathrooms and an upheaval about gays and lesbians and the Boy Scouts, well then you got to go back and look at this ordinance from 1990. You are not asking for special privileges. For the last year and a half I've been meeting with city council members, uh, you've got activists, community organizers, the opponents, the supporters, and in all of them not only are willing to tell their story, they want to tell their story. There, there are so many amazing things that I can't believe that people have shared with me and that I want to share with you. So we've got all this footage, but what I need your help with is making sure that we still talk to more people so that their stories get interwoven into this documentary. I can write a dissertation and a few people will read it, but in order to get this out to the masses, in order for the people involved, the activists, the politicians, the community organizers, the only way for their voices to be captured forever is to literally go out and capture their voices. So in order to travel to where these people are, in order to get the proper film equipment and make sure that this is done correctly, I need help in, in making that come to fruition. Uh, this is the type of thing that can't just be a dissertation. It needs to be a film. So here's what I need for you to do. Check out the categories on this page and contribute what you can. It would be greatly appreciated. If you have a story to tell, if you know someone that has a story to tell, or if you have old footage that would fit into this film, everything that we are collecting is gonna be donated to the Gay and Lesbian Archive of Mid-America. My target is to have this film done by June of 2018, the 25th anniversary of this ordinance passing. It takes two years of blood, sweat, and tears to write a dissertation, but it takes money to make a film, and that's why your involvement in this project is so critical. So with your help, this story that needs to be told can be told. So let's make it happen.